borehole of a 7,285 foot well. I'm driving this thing from the cockpit right below you. Our down 7,285 feet deep. We're going to take this marble engineering here. 1551 hours. Find out. Hold on up there. We're going down. Bye bye, Houston, Texas. The skate wall out there is a surface casing. It protects the groundwater from drilling mud and keeps dirt and softer rock near the surface from caving into the world. Bye bye, Houston, Texas. We're slowing down after finally getting past the surface casing. Thousand. That's limestone out there. A sedimentary rock that could make a good reservoir. Now we're passing a series of shales, shaly sands, and limestones. 3,500 feet of them, representing millions of years of geologic history. That's a shale. That's a shale of sand, lim limestone, shale, lime shale. You get the idea. 5,000 feet. Six thousand feet. Impermeable shale here. The seal just above our reservoir. We're at sixty-eight hundred feet. Our well logs tell us this next layer should be the pay zone. Black gold. Texas B. Pay zone. Or maybe some natural gas. And stop them how we Let's see what's out there. Three fifty-three PM. Fifteen fifty-three hours. But the microscopic holes in it are filled with oil. That right there, that's Texas tea. This looks like a pretty good well. A really good well, in fact. Now we've got to put in the production casing. That's a pipe that goes all the way from the surface down through the reservoir. It keeps the well from caving in and gives the oil and gas a dependable path back up to the surface. Here it comes now. Once the casing is in place, we use cement to seal the space between the casing and the wall. The cement isolates the production zone from water zones. That is the cement. That's the cement. As you can see, the cement comes down the inside of the casing and then goes up the outside. Now all we have to do is wait for the cement to harden. Well. Cementing complete. Now, it's interesting. The oil and gas can't blow up the well yet because as you can see, the casing and cement are in the way. To fix this little problem, we use a big metal tube that fires high explosive shaped charges, like anti-tank weapons, through the casing and cement and out into the formation. This rather serious piece of equipment is a perforated gun. But instead of bullets, it fires those shaped charges. Here it comes now. Warning, perforating gun. That's the perforating gun. The gun is right above us. Stand by to perforate. You might want to cover your ears. Southwest Airlines! Perforation complete. Everybody all right? The holes, or perforations, now go deep into the reservoir rock. Because of the tremendous pressure down here, the oil and gas should flow through them up to the surface. Let's see how it's doing. Morning. Hatch. It seems like it's a little bit slow. Looks like we're going to have to do going. a frack job. If you like perforation, you're going to love this. Sometimes when a well won't flow after perforation, you have to give it just a little bit more help. Frack is short for hydraulic fracture. A liquid under extremely high pressure carrying sand is pumped down the casing. It goes out of the perforations and cracks the rock like an earthquake. 
At the surface right now, about 50 trucks are pumping liquid down the well all at once. Brace yourselves. The earth is going to move. The shot from the frack dub just knocked us offline for a minute. Let's see if fracturing the well did the trick. Yeah, let's be loose. Here goes. Excellent job! It did the, it did the trick. Homeward bound. We're going home. Well, well, well. That's a little oil. We're almost rid. home. Well, well. Anyway, that'd be the Christmas tree we just get. It's there to control the oil flow. Good thing it did, huh? Hey, guys! Open, open up the valve! Get out of here! We got people down here! And we're home! Second speech. Your trip and this well are now complete. Thanks for riding the Geovator. And keep us in mind the next time an oil well is part of your travel plans. Please exit through the open door. Thank you. Please exit through the open door. Thank you. And we're home. We're home. Welcome home.